35 years ago, we used to have strip shopping and we used to have personal service. The service that we could guarantee would provide us information that gave us what we needed to know about the food that we purchased, how to cook it, how to use it, and what was the best cut of meat or delicatessen item that was available. Since that time, supermarkets have dominated the industry, dominated our lives in such a way it's taken away not only choice, but also it's taken away service. The service that we need to have where we want to buy what's best for us. Let me ask you this question. Would you go to a vet if you were sick? Would you go to a furniture store if your engine of your car was blown up? No, you wouldn't. So why do we go to a supermarket to buy meat? Why do we go to a supermarket to buy green groceries? And why do we go to a supermarket to buy delicate testing items? Where most of the people who are working in those departments have no experience and no knowledge about the products that they're selling. I want to ask you a couple of questions. I want you to let me ask you these questions for this reason. Choice is about selecting things that you're going to use at home that are the best quality for the right price. I ask you, a lamb cutlet at any of the major supermarkets are around about $42 a kilo. That's looking like gold to me. If you go to your local butcher, not only will you know it's fresh, but you'll also know that it's in the right price bracket, around about $27 to $29 a kilo. So why are you paying that premium price? Is it the premium price, the offset of buying petrol at one of their petrol outlets? Is it offset the amount of staff that they used to have but now don't have so it's just a profit? I'm not sure. I can't answer that. I don't run a supermarket. But what I want to tell you is that if you want to buy food that's right for you, you need to go and speak to the people who can provide your butcher, your baker, your delicatessen owner, and your green grocer. They will tell you what is good, what is right, and how to use that product. We'll talk some more in just a moment. We can't go back to those days, but we can take the essence of those days forward. The one thing that I remember as a young boy was going to the greengrocer and getting a grape or something new, something to taste and tantalise the taste buds. Go to the butcher and listen to, about the different products that are in the window and how he used to describe how to cook them. Or going to the delicatessen and having a taste of the meat as it was freshly cut off the slicer. These things are really important when we're talking about food and, and the essence of freshness. Well, you know that supermarkets are there for a reason. Their major reason is convenience. But don't overlook the fact that convenience doesn't take into consideration quality for a fair and reasonable price. I'll have more to say about this in my next blog. I want to see that people get involved in making choices about what they eat and where they purchase that food. My name's Graham Chalmers. I'm from Taste Street's Culinary Group. If you've got a comment to make, please pass it on. The more people who get behind eating fresh is best and buying local product from people who are reputable and making a fair dollar and sharing that wealth around is what it's all about. Thank you.